Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file. Well, I'll ask them to. They're, they sent me an email. They're having trouble with it using center center engraving on some uh, cork covered shot glasses. And first of all, there's no laser page that's that small. I don't ever make my page the size of my uh, the size of my project, and this might be one of the reasons. And if you click on your page, your bounding boxes, there's something there. You can't click on the page because there's something there. And if we right click, there is a black outline around there. So we need to delete that. Then you can click on your page and you get, it's still there. So there's multiple copies. Still there. Delete it. There's a lot of copies of a weird line and it's finally gone. So my suggestion when you're doing center center, let's just say your laser bed is 24 by 12. Here's your graphic. I don't know what size the cup is, but what I would do for this, and also this is kind of what I call Corel weighted, where this is a lot lower than the other. So if you run this center center, it might not be in the center of what you want. Let's say your cup is like this. And you run this center center, it's gonna put it in the center. But when you run this, this part is not gonna be in the center. Uh, that's just because that's how Corel works. So what I would do in this case, first of all, I'm gonna change You've got CMYK and you're a laser engraver. With nothing selected, I would go up here and change your graphic drawing to a hairline and RGB red. That way, when you do this, you'll draw a box, right? Your, your rectangles will be hairline and red. What I would do, this is all grouped together. And of course, I've, I've turned you around because you'd want it, you're engraving on a rotary device. I'm gonna hold down the shift key with the item selected and hit the rectangle tool. And then I'm gonna group all this together. Control G. Now we're gonna rotate it to 90 degrees to get it in proportion to your cup and put it in your, rate, in your, in your uh, laser. Now, when you engrave it center, center, this is gonna be on the, the one edge and this is gonna be on the one edge. It's not gonna move it over. And I don't know if I can really show that. Well, look, maybe we can. Let's back up here. Well, I'll tell you what, let's take everything apart. Let's ungroup the two objects. And I'm gonna hit P and put this in the center of the page. I'm gonna grab this and put it in the center of the page. It moved it a little bit, but when you do center, center engraving, it's gonna put this, it's gonna weight it at a different uh, item. Let's just get rid of our rectangle. It's kind of hard to explain, but that's how center, center works. So I would draw a hairline and group it together, control G, and now when you hit center, center, it's gonna engrave this whole box in the center, regardless of what's down here. I hope that makes sense. Uh, I've made a video like this before. It's just the way center, center works. It's gonna weight it down and, and I call it weight and there's more weight on this end above your line. And the hairline can help you you could go up to your print preview, print preview and run this hairline box and it'll tell you, and then that way you can kind of double check your center center. Have your lid open so your laser won't fire and turn on your red dot pointer. Hopefully you have one and that'll trace around that box. But don't forget to group it together when you engrave it. And I think your main problem was that, that, that box that was hidden 
Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.